Good morning, folks. This is Joel Broughton, and I am excited to be talking today this beautiful Saturday morning on our Saturday morning breakfast call. Um, welcome to the call, everyone. Welcome to our webinar uh, for this wonderful day uh, in uh, December. Now, um, let's just start by uh, congratulating uh, all of our members that are getting checks, matching postcards this week. Uh, a little bit slower, but it is December, and I'll talk to you a little bit about that. Um, so congratulations to Greg and Twanzel, to Sharon, Jason, Charles. Congratulations, Joss. Sam, Leonard, congratulations. We. And uh, one thing to note as well, actually, some of these people, uh, it's not just a small check. Some of these people are getting fairly significant earnings um, this week. So congratulations to all of you uh, on earning uh, checks, matching postcards, and, uh, and really continuing to build your business through the month of December, which uh, literally normally tends to slow down a little bit around Christmas. And, and let's talk about that a little bit. Um, so here, here's uh, some of the things that we're going to be talking about right now. I'm going to go through them one by one. I've got a lot of dates on here, so you might want to jot down some of these as we go through them. This Wednesday, December 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern, I am going to have an online marketing webinar, okay, about our online marketing and advertising program, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go through an overview of the actual program, how it works, how you use it. Uh, I'm going to do kind of a little mini training, all right, for those of you that are either in it or for those of you that are considering uh, joining it and using it. This is going to be a very, very valuable uh, session for you, all right. I'll also do a Q&A at the end. So if you have any questions, please bring them. Okay, um, I, I, you know, if you want to ask a question, you got to be there live. All right, so please bring all your uh, questions. Um, I'll definitely answer uh, all of your questions that evening. I will record it as well, and we'll make it available in the members area in the uh, online marketing and advertising program section of our website. Okay, so we'll make it available for you there as well. Now, there have been some additions to our online marketing and advertising program that I'm going to touch on specifically with the, uh, and I'm not going to go through it in huge detail because some of you are on this call going, ah, I just want to mail out postcards, Joel, right? But for those that are using it, okay, which there are many, um, they want to know the, the updates and, and basically I'm going to go through them on that call. And specifically, one of the things that we recently did, which is really cool, is we, um, we recently created the ability for you to be able to put your each individual video YouTube link back into the members area, okay? And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this on Wednesday, so don't worry about it right now. Um, you don't need to do it until Wednesday, okay? You don't need to try and scramble around asking me today or tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday. Um, you can do it on Wednesday, it won't affect anything if you wait until then. But you'll actually be able to put your, your individual YouTube links back into our members area so that we can track, you know, once you've uploaded your videos. And we're actually going to send traffic through your autoresponders directly to your individual videos and your YouTube channel, okay? And, um, you know, that's obviously part of the bigger picture is to get you more traffic, get you more views, get you more opt-in, uh, start building the community around um, you and, and uh, your team, okay, and uh, starting to develop your name in the industry, all right, which is really, really important. If you want to be a leader, if you want to make um, good money, if, if that's the route you're taking, then definitely this is a good avenue to use because you're able to uh, promote yourself and promote your videos and promote your channel and, and you know, do that. So um, Wednesday, December 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern, online marketing webinar, we are going to just hold it on this same line, okay, our same Saturday morning breakfast call dial-in, so you don't have to, you know, come up with a new number or anything like that. The webinar and the phone number are going to be the exact same, It'll be 9 p.m. Eastern on this Wednesday, December 21st. All right, so our 
um, video expert, video guy that makes all our videos for us. Um, he's actually off until December 27th for holidays, okay, as of today. Um, so if you've requested an intro video and you don't have it yet, unfortunately, um, the good news is you're first in line, I guess. Um, the bad news is you just got to wait till the 27th, okay, and he'll be back uh, making them. Um, so I do apologize for any of you that have requested them in the last day or two and we didn't get to it yet, um, but, you know, please keep sending them. So if you join the online marketing advertising program and, uh, and you know, you want your intro video, please still send the requests to us and uh, we'll put them in queue and we'll put them in order so that as of the 27th, we'll get them. all cranked out and still upload the, your videos you just you know if you're brand new and you don't have your intro video yet please just use one of the um, one of the ones that aren't the custom ones you can just add, start adding the generic intro videos those will work just fine as well um, to your videos and then and then the ones uh, you know it, it really it's only a week and a half ten days okay he'll be back and uh, and he'll be able to continue making those for you guys all right um, the third thing, package bonuses. So if you've recently purchased the starter pack, the silver pack, or the platinum pack, and you noticed that there was, uh, hopefully you noticed, that there was a little PS on your, um, on your welcome letter that said your bonuses will be shipped in a couple of weeks, okay? So uh, basically the bonuses that come with those packages will all be shipped individually all right, well, not individually, in a package, I guess, for you uh, all together, um, after December 22nd, all right? We're just waiting for um, the copies of Postcard Dynasty to come in so that we can put it with the videos, the DVDs, the audios, and everything else that you're getting um, in your packages, okay? For those of you that have purchased one of the Fastar packs in the last few weeks, um, just, just so you know, they're coming. Um, we just have to wait uh, December 22nd, which I think is... Thursday, I guess. All right, so we'll be shipping them out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, and uh, Saturday's Christmas Eve. So we'll get them all out so you'll have them uh, the week after uh, after Christmas. Um, matching postcards. Uh, if you haven't received matching postcards recently, I do know that. Um, we do have a fairly substantial list of people that are owed matching postcards. We are working on them. We are getting them out. Um, and basically... Here, here's the here's the thing with the matching postcards. All of the when we switched over to the new system, I kind of had a choice. It's like I can hold some of the matching postcards until I get all the programming sorted out. So we're tracking them all, but I just don't have a viewer yet. I don't have a way to print them yet um, from my programmer. So we're working on that actually as we speak. We kind of put the autoresponders and some of the things ahead of that, um, just because it is December. And I'm going to talk about mailing in December in a minute, but a lot of people tend to slow down mailing a little bit in December anyway. So I thought, well, the more important thing is the autoresponders, then we'll work on the matching postcards, okay? Um, because obviously we can only do one thing at a time, okay, with, uh, with our programmer. So uh, the matching postcards are actually going to be um, going out as soon as possible. Um, I'm hoping before Christmas they should be able to get all get out, 100% get out before Christmas. Um, and I actually do have some as well, um, matching postcards that are going to roll up um, that I had held uh, from kind of the end of November. I've got some matching postcards still from the end of November, but they were people that didn't uh, sign up as an affiliate. Um, so they're actually going to roll up to the uplines. Um, which is actually pretty cool for the upline. So, you know, for those people that haven't registered as an affiliate yet, if you still haven't, um, you better do it, and you might still get your matching postcards. Otherwise, they're just going to roll all up to the uh, roll all up to the uplines. Okay, because I've got a I've got a list of probably 10 or 12 people who, um, you know, are supposed to receive matching postcards, but they're not registered yet as an affiliate, um, so they won't get them. They're just going to go to the upline. All right. Um, so I guess congratulations to the upline for making the smart decision to be an affiliate, all right, with the, uh, with the affiliate membership. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, you still have time, all right, um, and, uh, and you'll be able to get your matching postcards. For those of you that get, are affiliate members, don't worry. The matching postcards are on the way. 
Um, I am going to attempt to get everything out um, definitely by the end of the year so you've got them fresh, ready to go for January 1st. Okay. Um, so that kind of brings me to the next point, mailing in December. I get a lot of questions constantly of, of you know, because December, honestly, folks, <coughs> let's just be frank here. Well, I'll be Joel. I'm sure Frank's on the call too, but um, <laughs> Wow, that's a that's a bad joke for a morning, but I guess it is morning, so give me a break, all right? Um, mailing in December, December tends to be, okay, now this isn't an exact science, right? I, I, tend to know all the numbers and I tend to, there is not a slower month than December. Now, December, I usually tell people, you know, mailing the first couple of weeks in December is still okay. All right, we still can generate some decent results. Um, but I personally, okay, because I've seen that uh, the significant slowdown, I personally normally don't mail the last week and a half, two weeks of December. All right. Um, now, here's a couple of sides to it, right? And, and you can make the decision as to whether or not you want to mail your postcards now or whether or not you want to hold them until January, okay? Um, full disclosure, I, I just want to give you the, the uh, inf information and then you can make the decision. Hey, you can make an informed decision. Um, so December being kind of a slower month and the reason why is because everybody's obviously focused on Christmas and holidays and, and, and all of the traditions that go along with um, the holiday season, okay? Now, the response rate tends to go down, period. Across the board, no matter what business you're in, no matter, well, I guess if you're in a retail company, a retail business at a mall, your business goes up. But in, uh, in direct mail, okay, postcards, mailing letters, response rates, percentages tend to go down, okay, uh, the second half of December, significantly, all right? So, but, but here's the thing. If you want to take the chance to mail your postcards now, you can. You might be the only postcard that that person gets that week. You might be one out of three instead of one out of ten, okay, that they receive. So, I mean, they might hold it until January. They might see it. They might look at it. They might join, okay? People still join in December. I I've had people for years, okay, I join Christmas Day, right, on the 25th, on the 24th, New Year's Eve, okay? People will join the business, all right? So it's not, it's not like the response goes to zero, but it is usually reduced. So you can get some success, okay, during the second half of December, but if you want better success, my recommendation is to hold your cards till the end of the month, okay? Uh, from about now, all right, uh, until the end of the month. I, uh, normally, like I'm personally, just to let you know, I'm personally not gonna mail any, like I'll mail cards to you guys, right? If you order postcards now, I'll mail them to you, but I'm not gonna mail them to prospects over the next couple of weeks. Okay, and it's up to you. Again, you could be, you could be getting a great prospect or two. You could be getting great members, you know, during this time. Like I said, people join over Christmas. Um, but just want to let you know, okay, I want to give you that fair kind of disclosure that December tends to be the, the slowest time of the year. And uh, the second two weeks, normally I don't mail, okay? Um, and that's kind of a personal decision. And again, you can try it. It's up to you. You can decide if, if you want to give it a shot and see for yourself, okay? Um, so here's what I recommend if you do have cards currently um, or if you do want to purchase more cards uh, now, here's what I recommend. Buy them now, stamp them now, okay, get them ready to go, and then drop them in the mail on either the 31st, the 1st, the 2nd, or the 3rd. Okay, of, of uh, January. So the 31st of December, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. You want to have your cards hitting beginning of the beginning of the year. Okay, those first couple of weeks in January, pretty close to the best time of the year. Okay, pretty close to the best time of the entire next 12 months. <laughs> All right. 
um, to be uh, having your postcards hit. People are making New Year's resolutions. People are getting back from holidays. You know, they, they need to make more money. They need to pay off their bills. They're getting excited about starting a new business, okay? Um, so that those first couple of weeks of January, you want your postcards hitting. You want lots of postcards out there um, the uh, first couple of weeks of January, okay? So my recommendation is get your postcards now or prepare your postcards now. Get the stamps on them now. <coughs> hold them until the end of the month and drop them in that mail, um, you know, the last couple of days of December or the first week of January. Get them in the mail, okay? Now here's the uh, here's the other point about that. Um, my wife and I we are going on holidays right at after Christmas until the second break for about a week. <clears throat> okay, hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, and, and I'll still be doing emails and we'll still be doing, you know, support tickets and, and electronic stuff. We just won't have postcards to ship to you. Okay. So any orders that come in after the uh, 20, about the 22nd. Okay. So if you're ordering on Christmas or the 23rd or 24th, you're trying to get some postcards in before the end of the month, um, get them in before the 22nd. Okay. The 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, we're going to be mailing out. After that, um, you're waiting until after the 2nd of January. Okay, we're back on the 2nd. Okay, so for about a week there, we're, we're not mailing any packages of postcards. So if you want to get your postcards ready to hit the best time of the year, okay, my recommendation is place your orders today, place your orders tomorrow, place your orders by Thursday, Friday at the very latest, okay, it's the 23rd, we'll still get them out, but listen, do me a favor and try to get all your orders in by the 22nd if you do want postcards now for the uh, beginning of the year, okay, um, because again, like I said, um, best time of the year, January, all right, first couple of weeks, three, four weeks, I mean, pretty much all of January is really good, all of February is really good, all of March really good, but you know, now is a really good time to get a fast start on the new year. Um, get those postcards ordered today. Um, you'll get them in the mail, uh, you know, by Christmas or, or shortly after Christmas. You can get the stamps on them. Um, here's the other thing, just so you guys know, too. Um, I don't know what the rates are going to be. They don't, they don't want to tell me, but apparently postcard stamps are probably going up middle of January, okay? Um, and, and I know it's hard to stock up on something like that, but just so you know, um, I think the 19th, maybe 15th or 19th of January, um, you know, the post, uh, my postmaster told me they're probably going up a penny or two, you know, not the end of the world in the big picture, but Hey, if, if you're going to be buying the stamps anyway, you may as well get them now or get them uh, early in January. Okay. So postcard orders, try to get them in by the 22nd. So you've got them ready to go for the first week of January. So you can drop them in the mail immediately. And, uh, Hey, those are all our notes. Those are all our updates for this week. Um, so let's get into a bit of a training. Now, here's, here's, um, here's a point I want to make before we start the training this week or before we start some of the information. I get this all the time, this question, all the time, constantly, okay? People calling in or people emailing or people leaving voicemails. Um, and, and I want to assure you that this is, I want to assure you that this is absolutely true, okay? Um, can I just mail a postcard? Do I have to do all this other stuff? Okay, do I have to do all this other, all this training? Do I have to do these videos? Do I have to do all this stuff? to be able to be successful? Or can I just mail a postcard? I get it virtually almost every day. Yes, you can just mail postcards, okay? The whole system was designed to allow you to just mail postcards if that's what you want to do. All of this other stuff, all of the training, all of these other strategies, the online marketing, 
These are all extras. These are all things that, that we use that, hey, I mean, I can only get on the phone so many times and teach you how to put a stamp on a postcard properly, right, in the, in the right direction uh, without us all getting totally bored, <laughs> right? I mean, I, I can't really teach you, you know, every single week how to just put a stamp on a postcard and drop it in the mail, right? We've made the system so easy, there's basically no training involved for that. So if that's all you want to do, in fact, you never really have to come on the calls. <laughs> I mean, I, I would recommend it so you can hear, you know, the people that are uh, getting checks, hear your name, all right, hear the updates, see what's going on. But all the other training is optional. All the other training is for people who really... want to take their business to the next level, people who want successful long-term business, okay? Can I just put a stamp on a postcard and be successful? Absolutely, okay? So I just want to make that clear before we get into any of this extra training today, okay? So let, let's talk about our target markets a little bit. Uh, let's talk about two different target markets that we tend to target uh, in our industry, okay, to work with. And those are opportunity seekers, okay? Those are people looking for a home-based business, somebody who basically has put up their hand and said, hey, I am looking to make extra money from home. Okay, that might have been you when you kind of first got our postcard. I'm looking to make extra money from home. I'm trying to figure this out. I've never been successful before. I don't know what to do. Can you help me? The other people that are our target market or one of the other groups is network marketers. Okay, and those are people that already currently have a network marketing business. They've already joined something to uh, sell the products and services of that company, okay, to build a network. And they tend to be looking for leads. They tend to be looking for a better way to do their business. They tend to be looking for uh, maybe some training and stuff like that, okay? Now, Let's just differentiate between the two right now. Now, I'm not saying one is better than the other. We actually kind of want to target both, okay? But they tend to be in different places, all right? Some of them are all mixed up in the leads that we have. Um, you know, most of the leads that we have on the postcards, the majority of them, um, primarily are opportunity seekers, okay? They're, they're not really hugely successful networkers. Okay, they're not usually, some of them are, okay, some of them are, but usually they're not hugely successful because um, once people find a business, they tend to stop answering ads, right, and then they start building their business. Okay, so most of the people on our postcards that, that you get are opportunity seekers. Now, with opportunity seekers, you get one when they join, plus, we're not sure, you get some future growth, right, through the leverage that they generate. Right, so you get at least the one, plus you get some future growth. Now with network marketers, somebody who potentially already has a team of people, you get one, plus immediately you might get two, 10, 50, 1,000 people in, coming into your business, depending on, the size of their, depending on the size of their business, right? So if you actually manage to bring in a network marketer or a network marketing leader, with a group of people, somebody who has 10 people in their downline already in their company, somebody who has 50 people or 100 or 1,000 people into their downline, you could literally recruit one person or bring in one person into Postcard Networker and get 50 people or get 100 people or more, okay, by bringing that one person in. Plus, you get the future growth of all that whole team too, all right? Now, is one better than the other? Not really. Opportunity seekers tend to be easier to bring in, okay, an easier target market. But network marketers, on the other hand, if we can learn how to do it and if we can practice and if we can try, you potentially can kind of hit a home run, right? Opportunity seekers, we basically hit a lot of singles, okay? For If you want to use a baseball analogy, we hit a single, hit a single, hit a double, hit a single, hit a double, Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? You win a lot of games hitting singles, all right? You win a lot of games hitting doubles, okay? You, you normally don't necessarily win games hitting home runs, all right? It's mostly about singles and doubles, 
All right, but if you hit a home run with a network marketer, you can get a lot of put a lot of points on the board, right? You can generate a lot of income very quickly. So today I want to focus because we already hit the opportunity seekers very, very well with the postcards. All right, we're already heavily into that market. I don't think I have to train you again, like I said at the beginning, on how to put a stamp on a postcard. You buy your postcards, you put your stamps on, you mail them out, you get your opportunity seekers. Okay, you, you get them joining. All right, you get one person, plus you get all the future growth and the leverage that they bring from mailing their postcards and finding their people and, and, and duplicating that process. So I want to talk about approaching network marketers, okay, and bringing network marketers into your business. Now, this is an activity. that you will need to but if you can find one good network marketer two good network marketers that already have a successful business and you bring them in a postcard networker you could literally make an extra five hundred dollars a month thousand dollars a month two or three thousand dollars a month almost instantly by locating pitching and bringing a network marketer into your postcard networker business, okay, depending on the size of their business. But even if you made an extra $100, $200, $300 a month just by finding a networker, okay, and again, this doesn't replace sending postcards. You, I mean, the activity of sending postcards takes you, what, five or 10 minutes, 20 minutes, right, to put some stamps. So all that other time that you maybe want to dedicate to building your business, you could spend some of it approaching networkers. Okay, and, and literally you could explode your business overnight by bringing some of these people into your business. Okay, um, and December is a great time. So here's the trick for direct mail, not really spectacular, but for approaching networkers, it actually is a pretty good time because business tends to slow down <coughs> across the board for everybody. Um, network marketers in general tend to have a little more time on their hands because people aren't making as many phone calls, there's not as many three-way calls, there's not as much prospecting going on. People are slowing down. So even the leaders have a little bit more time to maybe look at a new lead generation system, look at a new marketing system for their team. They've got the time to look. Um, the other thing that happens in December is, uh, actually November and December is, Many networkers start to look at potentially changing their network marketing business. If they've been, you know, depending on how the year went, depending on how the company's been going lately, um, you know, December tends to be a pretty good time to hit them up, all right, because they may be starting to look to have a fresh start in January with a new company, okay? And I'm not saying you're necessarily going to be able to recruit them out of their company into your company. But I am saying that uh, it's a really good chance to catch somebody at an opportunity where they're kind of looking to make a change or make an improvement in their business. And you can bring them into the postcard networker system to use either with their existing company or maybe they'll even take a look at your network marketing opportunity too. Okay. Network marketers are wonderful prospects. Here's why. Fabulous prospects, all right? Number one, they are already invested fully into a business. They have no problem spending money, okay? Now, they might be guarded with their money the same as everybody else. You still have to build trust with them. You still have to uh, show them the benefits to their using our system, okay? And it could be as simple as just putting them in the system and letting them watch the videos, okay? letting them watch some of the YouTube stuff that we have out there. But they are already heavily invested into their business. They've been spending their time and money buying the auto ships, potentially maybe even advertising. Um, they've probably spent lots of time on the phone recruiting people or pitching friends and family or whatever it is that they've been doing. So they are already invested in their business. So when you come to them with a solution to their problem, which is needing more leads, Okay. a way to build their business better, increasing their income, a lot of them will be more than willing to have a look, 
most of them will at least have a look and check it out. The other great thing is network marketers already understand or tend to understand the industry. Okay, they already tend to know what's going on. They understand that they got to spend money to make money. They understand that they've got to invest a little bit in advertising. They understand and they wish they had a marketing system like we have, right? In fact, um, here's kind of a, just as a side note, um, for years, and even, especially even in the last six to 12 months, people have always asked me, Joel, can you build a marketing system for me? You know, and, and normally I don't because I tend to build my own for my own team or our own business and things like that. So I haven't done, I mean, I've done some consulting. For marketing systems, but I could just build it for us and then I can lead everyone and show everyone and train you as we go, right? Um, if I were to leave Postcard Networker, it would be a little, I mean, it, you could still use it, but it'd be a little bit harder to do just because I'm constantly explaining to everybody how to use it, what to do. I'm making the little videos and making the tweaks, right? So, you know, you kind of need that coach along with a marketing system. So that's why I've, I've never really built a lot of marketing systems for other people. But even over the last six months, I've had people come to me constantly. Can I, can you build me a postcard system? Can you build me a postcard system? And it's like, just use ours. Just use our postcard system. It's generic now. Everybody can use it. There's no need for me to build you or anybody in the network marketing industry their own system, their own marketing system. You know, they need and want a marketing system so bad. Postcard Networker is that marketing system, okay, that networkers have been looking for um, to be able to build a successful business. They all want a system. All of the top leaders, if you ask them, would you like me to build you a turnkey marketing system for your team at no cost to you? And you could immediately plug in your entire team and they can just simply send a postcard to be able to generate uh, leads and prospects and sales for their business in your downline. Okay? I, I mean, just ask them, if I built something like that for you, would you be interested in using it? Everybody will say, absolutely, that sounds great. Well, that's what Postcard Networker is. We've already built it, right? It's already available. They can all join for free. They can all join for free, okay? Um, so, so they all need a marketing system. We've got that marketing system. They all need leads. They all need more sales. There is not a network marketer out there today who will tell you, that they have enough sales in their business or they have enough leads in there. Everybody always wants more leads and sales. I want more leads and sales too. You want more leads and sales too. Everybody does, right? So if we can provide more leads and sales to their team and oftentimes the way I talk to networkers tends to be, listen, I can help your team. I can help your people grow faster because sometimes networkers think that they don't need it but they do need something for their team. Well, I don't need it. I have a successful business. Well, your business is only as successful as your team is, right? <laughs> if your team's having success, then you're having success. If your team can't make money, your success is going to eventually come crashing down around you, right? So the, the leads and sales and the training that we provide to the team is integral absolutely essential to the, the long-term success of their business. Okay, they can literally plug in. If you bring this to a leader in network marketing, they can literally plug in to a full marketing system, a dynamic marketing system that provides leads and sales for their team, for their company, also provides additional training and support to grow their team in their existing network marketing company. There really is nothing more that they could ask for. Okay. Now here's the final thing about network marketers. They're actually relatively easy to find. Here's why. They're all promoting their business. They're all advertising their business. They're all advertising their names, right? Many network marketing companies actually even will give you a list of distributors. If you go do a search on some of their corporate sites for people in your area, okay, if you do a search by your zip code or if you do a search in your community or something like that, 
you can even find in many of the companies who all the distributors are and you can contact them right on the corporate website. Okay. Uh, you can get their names, phone numbers, emails sometimes. Sometimes you just fill out a form and contact them. Okay. So don't be scared to go look for business. Don't be scared to go drum up business. All right. Network marketers are not hard to find. Now approaching them and building trust is a little bit trickier. Okay. So you've got to actually do a good job of, of, you know, not just coming off as a sleazy salesperson. You want to come off as somebody who legitimately wants to help them and, and we all want to profit and build a successful business together. Okay. But they're not, they're not hard to find. They're very easy to find. All right. If you take the time to go look for them. Okay. Cause again, they're all, they're all out there promoting their businesses. They're all out there trying to get business. Okay. Now, <laughs> one of the things that means uh, with leads and things like that, okay, they have an opportunity to buy leads, and this is the same as you. I mean, you probably are in the same boat. I mean, you, you're kind of a network marketer. You're kind of that that target market, right? You're building a downline, you're invested in a business, all right? Um, they're getting opportunities to buy leads, they're seeing ads, they're, they're getting pitched on different companies. So you want to be a little different, okay? If you want to be different than everybody else, if you want to get noticed, you have to stand out, okay? And I'm going to give you maybe two or three different examples of ways that you can definitely stand out. Definitely catch attention, okay? Because again, what's the point? Here's, here's the way I look at it. What's the point of mailing out? Let's say you get 100 names of, of network marketers, okay? Let's say you get 100 names of network marketers, okay, and addresses. What's the point of mailing out something to them that they're going to throw in the garbage or they're not going to look at or they're not going to be interested in? Especially if they're top people. Like if you're trying to get the attention of a top network marketer, wouldn't you want them to read your information or read your letter or read your email or, or pick up the phone and talk to you? Okay. So we got to be a little bit different. All right. Um, send them a physical letter. Okay. Emails are okay. All right, you can get away with sending them emails, but if you want to catch attention, try to get their home address, okay, or a P.O. box if that's all you can get. Send them a letter with a catchy headline, and I recommend you put a catchy headline right on the envelope, right on the envelope, okay, um, and make sure that there's a benefit to them or a benefit to their team in that headline, right? There's got to be a reason why that they're opening that, specific to them. Um, now, I, I did this actually recently um, with a friend of mine who is a, uh, who is a, uh, a very successful um, network marketing trainer. He actually uh, has a company that does a lot of training in the industry, and um, and he's getting busier and busier, and, and we've been friends for years, but he's getting harder to get a hold of, even for me. I, you know, so, some people, you just, you know, you pick up the phone, and, and I'm sure I'm the same way. I'm sure, you know, people call me all the time, and either my voicemail's full or the email gets lost, and, and I, I don't get it because it gets buried in so many other ones or something like that. Uh, anyway, so I, I wrote him a letter, uh, a specific letter, and I put his picture I put his picture on the letter. I put his picture on the outside of the envelope. And I wrote his name and I said, um, I forget the exact verbiage I used. I, I, should, I should have gone and grabbed the, the um, letter before this. But you can put something like discover how and then put the person's name in there, the network marketer's name. You can even put their picture on there. You can pull their picture usually off the Internet because they're advertising, right? So think about this. If, if I sent you a letter to you and it had your picture on the envelope, would that not catch your attention? Because who does that? Who does that? Who puts, who puts the person's picture that they're writing the letter to on the envelope? 
All right. And with just a little, so you put the name and address how you normally would, but then in the bottom left-hand corner, I put his picture and I put um, a little statement about what I was going to, what I was going to deliver for him, what I was going to do for him. So you could put something like, you know, a, a picture of the networker, discover how so-and-so, the person's name, can explode their downline in 2017 by um, simply mailing out postcards or by providing a simple postcard mailing system to their team. Okay, 100% generic or, or whatever you want to do. I mean, I'm just kind of giving you an idea here. I don't want everybody copying exactly the exact same thing and then everybody sending out the same messages. But think about how powerful. Here's, here's, the headline isn't as important. It needs to have a benefit. But the thing... thing that will catch their attention is this. It's a picture onto the envelope. Now, it's going to take you time, granted, if you're going to do this for 5 or 10 or 20 or 100 different networkers. But I'll tell you what, that will get your envelope opened. If you take the time, if you've got their address and you've got a picture of them, put it on there. Put it on the envelope. I guarantee you they'll open it. Not only that, I guarantee you you'll probably, well, I can't guarantee you a call because I don't know who you're sending to, but you'll probably get phone calls from them if you ask them to call you. Because it is so obscure. It's such a different pitch. It's such a different like way of marketing. You're, hit, you're personally reaching out to them, right? And they'll get a kick of that. Or put a picture of their website. Take, a, take an image of their website and put it on the back of the envelope, the whole back of the envelope. Because it's recognizable to them, right? It's like, whoa, what, like, there's my website. Cool. What, what, you know what I mean? Like, if somebody sent a picture of my website or a picture to, you know, an envelope to me with me on it, that's pretty interesting, right? People like looking at themselves. People are interested in themselves. It shows me that you're interested in providing benefits to me, not just selling me some of your stuff. Okay, so be a little different. If you can mail them a physical letter, and you don't have to do thousands of these. You could do 10 or 20. Try it out. See, if you, see how many responses you get. Okay? And then in the letter inside, personalize it again. Put their name. Put, some, put a headline about what you can do for them. Okay? You can put your website. Put your phone number. Don't bother mailing people letters if you're not going to put a phone number in there. Okay? I guess you can, but the response rate will be lower. They might still just go to your website, but it's more personal if you provide contact information. Okay. Now for mass mailings, we don't put phone numbers, right? For postcards or for um, letter mail, okay, to people we don't know, we, I don't put a phone number, okay, a personal phone number, because I don't want 500 phone calls from prospects, right? But if it's a network marketer that you're trying to bring into the business and you specifically took the time to send them one letter, throw your phone number in there. They might call you, they might not, but the fact that it's in there will help gain trust, okay? So there's one approach. Approach number two, send them a copy of our new book, Postcard Dynasty, for Christmas. How many, how many times in, in, uh, in your – how many times since you've been in this industry has anybody ever sent you a Christmas present? Has a prospect ever sent you a Christmas present? Or has somebody in this industry ever sent you something? All right? I guarantee you if they get a Christmas present from you, which is a book with basically the book, if you guys have read it, is, is a pretty good way to pitch our business. Okay, I would say it's a re I would say it's a really good way of pitching our business. Okay. It will catch attention. They will open it. I guarantee they'll open it. And if you send it directly from Amazon, it's gonna catch them totally off guard because either they're purchasing stuff from Amazon, right? Um, and, and regularly, and they, they're going to open it. Or they're not purchasing stuff from Amazon. They're going to go, whoa, who sent me something from Amazon? Cool. Right? They're definitely going to open. It's, it, it's not a – like so a letter, there's still a chance they're not going to open it, right? Or a, or a package or something like that. But if they get, some, they get one of those um, – you know, packages from Amazon, and it'll either come in a bubble wrap or it'll come in one of those little uh, kind of filmy uh, envelopes. They're opening it 100% of the time. 
You can send it direct from Amazon. You don't even have to touch it if you don't want to. Okay? You don't have to mail it to yourself and then mail it to them. You can just drop ship it right from Amazon to them. You can even have Amazon gift wrap it for you as a Christmas present. Put a little note in there. Now, don't ask me how to get the gift wrapping. I'm pretty sure it's just done automatically through the system. I think there's a button you can probably click to get it gift wrapped and all that. I haven't personally done it because my wife loves gift wrapping everything um, that we get. She personally spends all the time to, you know, gift wrap all, all the presents and stuff like that. So we, I haven't personally used it, but I know you can do it. You can actually have our Postcard Dynasty book gift wrap, put a little message in there, and ship it to – now, don't do this to just everyday prospects. Okay? Don't do – you know, to me, that's a bit of a overkill, all right? Um, but if it's a top leader, if it's somebody who can bring 10 people, 20 people, 50 people, a hundred people to prospect that person think about this if you were to if you were to do a local meeting or do a local get-together with somebody that you wanted into your business and they had a team of a hundred people or 200 or 500 people would you take them out for lunch <coughs> think about that if you knew somebody locally that was a big network marketing leader Okay, like I'm just trying to put this into perspective here as we build our businesses. So if you knew somebody locally with a group of 500 people in their business and you wanted to kind of impress them and kind of want to pitch them on Postcard Networker and bring them into your business, would you invite them out for lunch and, p and pick up the tab? Well, lunch is 20 bucks, right? So would you be willing to, for that same person, if they're out of town, send them a Christmas present? Postcard Dynasty, 15, 20 bucks. Would you be willing to do that, to prospect them? Because I'll tell you what, like I said, it's going to get their attention. Gift, and gift wrap it. Pay the extra buck or whatever it is, two bucks. Gift wrap it. Put a little message in there. I'll tell you what, if I get presents, in the mail, I open them, and there's a pretty good chance. I'm not going to guarantee. I'm not. I'm not trying to solicit presents here by any means. <laughs> okay, but but if I get something, that's going to like th it's going to like throw me off a little bit because people just don't do stuff like that, right? People tend to in our industry think about themselves a lot. They don't tend to think about who they're helping and who they're working with. Okay. And you don't have to use Postcard Dynasty. You can send them a package of uh, products from your company, okay, a small little package of products from your company. You can send them, um, you know, some postcards. You can, send, you can send them a booklet, one of our booklets, one of our CDs, you know, the business overview CDs, okay. The book is pretty cool because it comes from Amazon, all right, and you get it gift wrapped and all that direct from the company. You don't even have to do any of the work, all right. You just pay for it, but, you know, you can send a lot of different stuff. Here's another neat one that I came up with that will catch attention. Okay, and again, you don't have to use any of these. You can completely make up your own. You don't have to do any of them. You can just phone them. Pick up the phone and call them. All right, leave a voicemail for them. Send them an email. All right, but again, I like to be a little bit different. I like to be a little bit try to be a little shocking in my marketing sometimes. Okay, so here's what you do. Send them a package. All right, now, don't just send them one envelope, because sometimes if you send them an envelope, it, it, it looks like all their other mail. So when you get the envelopes, get either a bubble envelope or a priority envelope. Now, I know the priorities are going to cost you five bucks to mail, all right, but it'll definitely get opened. It'll definitely catch attention, all right? Or get a bubble envelope, same thing, will catch attention. They don't get that a lot. If you just send in a regular small envelope, all right, it kind of goes in. That, that's more for, like, when we do bulk mailing, when we're going to go mail 10,000 pieces of mail or 1,000 pieces or 5,000 pieces of mail. But if you're only going to mail one or two or 10 or 20, if it's kind of a one-off type of thing, 
go get 10 or 20 bubble envelopes or priority envelopes, okay? Or a big, go get a, a 9 by 11 or a 9 by 12 um, red envelope or metallic purple, okay? Or something that's going to stand out, all right? And, and here, here's kind of an interesting thing you can do. Send to the network marketing leader, um, send them five, three to five, 10, whatever you want. I, I wouldn't send them a ton, but maybe send them three to five um, of your postcards with the leads, the names, the leads, everything on them, okay? Maybe send them three, maybe send them five, okay? And include with that package, five, just hear me out, all right? So put in five postcard stamps and five um, postcards or three or whatever you want to put in. And write them a letter that says, listen, I just wanted to show you how simple our business is so that you could understand that all of your team members can have success with it. Now, you don't need this exact verbiage. You don't have to jot it down. Just something to this effect, okay? I, I wanted to show you how simple our business was. So what I've done is I've included five of my postcards that I send to my leads just so that you could experience what we do to be able to generate sales for our network marketing companies. And for what you could do with your team, you can instantly plug in. Everything's already 100% done for you. The leads are pre-printed on there, just the way you see them. The access codes are pre-printed on there. <coughs> if you check any of the access codes on those cards, they go to me. You'll see my name on the, on the second page of those websites. So just, just, um, just to show you how easy it is, I've also included five stamps. So you can do the activity that we do on a daily basis to be able to generate leads and prospects for our company. Please do me a favor, instead of mailing me the postcards back, can you just put the stamps on them and drop them in the mail when you go by a post office? I'd appreciate it. You know, and thanks so much for, for looking at our business and, uh, and, and please just drop them in the mail because those are some of my actual leads. But I wanted to share with you what we really do, okay, or, or something to that effect. So you're kind of getting across the message that, hey, this is kind of interesting, this is different. They actually sent me some of their leads because they wanted to show me exactly how it works. But here's the thing, if you get one of those leaders, if you get one of those networkers, and they probably will do this, I, you know, they, they probably, now I haven't tried this yet, this is just an idea, okay? But if they, if they take the time to put those five stamps that you've provided to them on those postcards and throw them in the mail, which they probably will, they're, they're not going to be a, most of, them, most of them will be nice, right? As long as you write them a nice little letter along with it. They're probably not going to throw it in the garbage. They're probably going to drop it in the mail for you. That will stick in their head forever. Every time they pick up the phone to do a cold call or every time they sit there thinking, I wish I had more leads for my team, they're going to think about those stamps they put on those postcards and how easy that was for their team. And they're going to join your postcard networker business. But you have to use an envelope that's going to get attention, right? Throw a couple real postcards in there. Throw a couple stamps in there. Write them a nice little letter, okay? You don't have to use any of these three approaches that I've given you today. These are just ideas. These are ways to get attention. There are literally hundreds of different ways you could get at the attention of networkers, okay? There's also thousands of ways that you won't get any attention at all. But in my experience, the way to get the most attention is to be different, okay? And yell from the rooftops. Have a very, very loud approach, like have a very different, exciting, you know, S send, I mean, if you want, if you want, if you want to get attention, don't just send a letter, 
Send something bulky. Send something real. Send a book. Send, some, uh, send a few of your postcards with a couple stamps in them. Okay? Send them a, a sample of your product okay, from your network marketing company. Send, send them something that they can touch and feel. Okay? That's something more than just a piece of paper. More than just an email. And I guarantee you'll get more attention for your business than doing anything else, okay, with a network marketer, okay? Now, here's another interesting thing. With networkers, you may get a response back right away, you may not, okay? But the more chances you give them to join the business, so make sure you include your website or you include your, a way for them to join, right? Include your phone number, include your email, include all your contact information. They may contact you right away. They may contact you in three months. They may just shelf it for a bit and say you don't know, okay? You just don't know until um, they join. And by the way, if you want to use your own access code, you can just use your username. If you ever send them to uh, mypostcardnetworker.com or postcardteam.com, if you ever send them to one of those websites, you could just use your username, okay? Or send them to your link, your uh, direct link, okay, that we've given you. Here's the bottom line. Just what's in it for them? I mean, as you approach them and as you get attention, make sure that you are very clear on what you're going to help them with, which is helping them build their team. That's all they want. They want to know, how can you help me build my team? How can it be easier for me, faster for me? How can I make more money? All right? Um, you can use my credibility when you approach them. Feel free to drop my name. Feel free to say, you know, you can contact the owner of the company. You can contact the the the, the uh you know, the creator of the system, and you can get them in touch with me. Okay, if they need to, if they're going to bring 100 people in, if they're going to bring 200 people into the business, I'll do a webinar for them. Okay, you can offer a webinar for their team to be able to pitch the whole system. Okay, we'll set it up. They can also just set up an account with Postcard Networker, test drive the whole system for free. How simple is that? They don't even have to pull out a credit card or buy anything or try, you know, they, they can basically see everything for free, including the online marketing advertising program. They can take a 30 day free trial. They can see our entire system for free and determine whether or not it's going to work for their team, determine whether or not that it, it makes sense. All right. I think that the more that we talk to network marketers, the more you're going to find they absolutely love what we're doing. In fact, we brought on um, just last week a, uh, a new team from a, from a company, um, and they're sharing it with their entire company. Their whole company is going to – we did a webinar for them the other day. Their entire company is being offered Postcard Networker as a way to market their business through postcards. You can get an entire network marketing company. We actually have another one lined up um, that's looking at uh, coming in uh, by the beginning of January and basically just bringing their entire company in. Not huge companies. I mean, these aren't, you know, billion-dollar companies. These are, you know, smaller companies, but a lot of them are making millions Okay, millions, and they have a lot of people to bring in, thousands and thousands of people to bring into Postcard Networker, and you can be their sponsor if you approach the right people, if you start approaching networkers, okay? So that's my advice to you for December. Send some Christmas presents, all right? Everybody, hey, now is the best time the best time, the best excuse to send somebody a gift-wrapped copy of the book or a gift-wrapped CD or something in the mail, a gift-wrapped uh, sample of your product from your network marketing company, 
now's the best time to give it to them because hey, they're used, they, they like getting presents and it'll be kind of cool to get a present from you. Um, so I recommend that you reach out to networkers during this time um, because like I said, the, the, the uh, postcard mailing, I would recommend that you kind of hold off until uh, the beginning of the year. Okay, um, but do get your orders in, please, by the 22nd for postcards. Okay, if, if you do uh, want to get postcards to send out at the beginning of the year, please try to order them by the 22nd. Today would be best. Today, tomorrow, this weekend, um, but at least by the 22nd. Okay, have a great weekend, everyone. That's it for me today. I wish you all the best. Have a wonderful Christmas. Have a wonderful holiday season. Um, we will see you next week. We'll probably have an abbreviated call. Um, it is Christmas Eve, okay? Um, but we'll be here. Okay, hopefully you guys...